We're here today to talk about the Willamette River crossing. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take water from the east side of the river and we're gonna dive it underneath in the rock below the bottom of the Willamette River and then we're gonna bring it out the west side of the river. That will provide us with a seismically resilient way to get water from the east side to the west side. Currently we have six crossings and all of them are quite old, and we believe that none of them will survive the next big earthquake undamaged. We want at least one crossing that we can get across the river and we can have confidence that it will provide water after a big earthquake. The way that the Portland water system is set up is that we collect water up in the Bull One, which is to the east of us, and we also have water on the south side of the Columbia River by the airport. So both of those are on the east side of Portland and we provide water to several hundred thousand people on the west side of the river. We need to have a safe and secure way of getting water from our sources on the east side of the river to the west side of the river. There is almost always a fire of some magnitude after an earthquake. It's very important that, that we are able to provide water to the whole system after an earthquake. And then in the slightly longer term, the major hospitals, a significant number of them, are on the west side of the river. I'm looking over here at OHSU, Good Sam West Side, St. Vincent's West Side. You know, these are really important facilities that will help keep people safe and help us recover quickly after an earthquake. To have clean water is a fundamental element of recovery after a major disaster. This project is gonna help every one of us maintain our ability to keep our lives in some sort of uh, recovery mode after a big earthquake. I'm Tim Collins. I work for the Portland Water Bureau. I'm a senior engineer for them and I am the project manager for the Willamette River Crossing.